Hello, everybody. Welcome to session five of the Ice Aging Platform course, Becoming an Ice Aging Expert. I'm your host, Stefan, and I'm here today with my colleague, Andrea, who you can speak with via the chat on the right-hand side of your screen. Please let her know if you can hear me okay and if you can see me okay. That's, that'll be very important for today's training session. Um, today is session five, as I said, of the Ice Aging Platform course, a, a six session course to turn you into an ice aging expert and give you the possibility uh, or the opportunity to earn an ice aging certificate and badge, but a little bit more about that later on. Uh, in this uh, uh, six session course, or in the first four sessions in the previous uh, couple of weeks, uh, we've been talking about a lot, how to create a virtual uh, experience. And in session five, in today's session, I want to talk about special features to level up your experience. So basically enhance it and take it to the next level with some really, really cool and easy to use functionalities. Basically three that I want to showcase in the VR editor uh, today. Um, if you have joined us before, then you should have received a trial account for the duration of this training course, which you're going to need to actually uh, uh, submit a live tour or virtual environment to earn your certificate and badge. Uh, if this is the very first time that you're joining us, welcome. There's still a uh, time to actually earn your certificate, so don't worry. Uh, you can rewatch also all of the previous sessions on YouTube. So just go to YouTube and uh, uh, go to uh, uh, I stage, search for ice staging. You'll see the sessions uh, right there, which are really, really uh, interesting to, to watch and hopefully helpful. And even if you've joined them live, then you can rewatch them as well to, to get some of the, the details that you may have missed. Okay. Um, I'll be sharing my screen. Uh, I'll be talking a little bit more about the certificate and the guidelines and that type of stuff later on uh, towards the end. Um, if you have any questions, you can post them in the chat. I don't know if I've already uh, uh, said that, but you can post them and Andrea will be able to answer you. But if, if, she did, if you don't get an immediate answer, we'll uh, uh, have some time for a live Q&A at the end of the talk. All right, so uh, I'm gonna share my screen. So just give me a second and we'll uh, get started right away. Okay. All right, so I will be uh, looking to my right every once in a while. I will not be, I'm not able to see the chat right now. If you can hear if the audio is okay and the video is okay. Uh, so I will be uh, checking on that every once in a while, but uh, I'm assuming it should be, should be fine. Um, and otherwise, Andrea will let me know. Okay, as I said, if you uh, have an ice aging subscription or you have received your trial account, by the way, if you haven't received that yet, you'll receive it very, very soon. Uh, if this is the first time that you're joining us. But if you have an account, you know that you can go to iStaging.com, uh, go to the top right corner, click on VR Maker, and log in with your username and password. You'll end up right here uh, when you uh, uh, create your very first uh, experience. We've been talking about a lot of the uh, different tabs uh, over the, the, the previous four sessions. And the three features that I want to talk about today are actually in three different tabs. So I want to talk about whitelisting. I want to talk about 360 videos. And I want to talk about an introduction video and image. Uh, some really easy to use functionalities, but really, really, really useful and very cool. And I want to give you some use it scenarios as well. Um, and I'm going to start with whitelisting. So actually, in last week's uh, uh, session, in session three, we talked about the Manage Visitors tab. And we're going to go back to that because we're going to talk about whitelisting. So instead of visitor information, we're going to go uh, to the second one, whitelisting, right here. All right, and what whitelisting white basically does is it uh, enables you to only let uh, pre-selected visitors enter your virtual experience. So you basically have to give them a username, and put them on the list, and then give them a username and password so that only specific visitors will be able to enter your environment. Now, there are different user scenarios for that, and I'll, I'll tell you a bit more about that uh, in, in a minute, but first I want to show you how this works. So it's actually very, very simple. All I need to do is basically turn on this little button that says whitelisting. And then a, here you go, then a whitelist basically appears uh, below that. And all, you can do a couple of things here. You can basically start adding the people that you want to give access to your virtual environment. All right. And I can either add them one by one, or you can import uh, and an Excel file with 
a list of hundreds or even thousands of people if, if, if necessary. Now there's a, an Excel sample for you so that you can see what you have to fill out in each column so that it's easy when you actually import it and you don't get an error message. But right now I'll just click on add to just show you what type of information you will have to fill out. So there are three things that are key. The username, really important, their email address uh, and their first name, their name basically. Then there are some other stuff, country, company, last name, phone number, occupation. Uh, and password, if you want to uh, add one, you can do so. If not, it will be uh, six zeros by default. Um, but obviously, for a little bit more privacy, it would be good if you actually uh, enter a, a password there as well. Now, once you've added uh, someone, an individual, you can basically click on Submit. That person will receive an email with their information and basically telling them that they can enter uh, your specific uh, uh, virtual uh, environment and virtual or your life to work. All right, and that person will also automatically show up here in, in the list with their information and you'll be able to basically deny them access you know, by deleting them from the list uh, if necessary, uh, or you can add more people to it. Now, what that ultimately looks like in your experience, and we'll go to view here at the top and we'll, I'll show you what that looks like. So it's actually very similar for those of you who've joined us last week to the manage visitors screen. Here you go. All I see is basically a, a pop up window that says sign in to explore. And that person, your visitor, will have to enter their username and their password. And then they'll be able to uh, enter the, the area here uh, uh, or your virtual environment. Now, why could this be interesting? And what kind of scenarios would this be useful? Well, one of, one of, one of them could be if it's for internal purposes or so internal communication purposes, for example, that should not go out into the world. There should just be, for example, your, your team uh, or some only the, the people, your, your colleagues or people in your company that should have access to it in case that it's you know, confidential, right? This could be because of a product launch or any type of launch or presentation, or you know, if you're capturing something on a, on a, on a site somewhere that is private, uh, you can just give uh, specific visitors access to that. So internal communication, you know, could be uh, uh, one of the reasons. Another one is virtual events or hybrid events, for example. Um, you know, in this case, if someone, uh, you can only give people access, visitors access that actually have a ticket, whether it's a free ticket or a ticket that they, you know, have to pay for. Um, say, okay, you know, once you've bought your ticket via our website or wherever they can buy the ticket, you will receive your, you know, your information and you can log in uh, online, right? Another great way of, of using this functionality. Now, a third way, and I kind of, it's similar to the second one, but I kind of want to show you to actually give you an example. And I've prepared that. So, for example, in galleries and museums, you have often, I'll open one, uh, in physical museums and galleries, you know, sometimes you have to pay for a ticket, sometimes you, you don't, they're free, uh, or sometimes there are free uh, sections to a gallery, but there's sometimes also a, a special a VIP area from a specific artist uh, or a painter, for example, uh, where you say, hey, if you want to see this particular area of the museum or the gallery, you have to buy uh, a ticket or pay extra, for example. So how to do that in your virtual world is now here I have, you, some of you may have seen this, this is a, a Vincent van Gogh museum. Now if I click on gallery here, it will send me into the public area where I can basically explore. Just give me a second guys, making sure that all the audio and video is still okay. Yeah, I think so. So uh, here I can explore the, the public area of the virtual gallery or museum, but now, if I go back to the entrance, you probably saw that already. Here we have a VIP area. So if I click on VIP, it will send me to a section of the gallery or the museum uh, that is only for specific visitors by using the whitelisting functionality. So if you, for example, have bought a ticket for that specific area, you can uh, enter your, your information or your username and password, account details, and enter. So a really, really cool way of you know basically doing that online now imagine that you have just to stick with the gallery or museum if you have your museum or gallery online on your website and you just show let's say a couple of panoramas 
to show what it what it's like, what the virtual version is like, and then say, hey, do you want to explore the entire museum? You know, buy your virtual or your online ticket right here, and uh, uh, you will receive your information to you know explore for as long as you like. Uh, something really really cool. The way that we've done this here is actually set up two separate virtual environments. All right, one which is basically public and the other one where we opened up the whitelisting functionality that is uh, private um, and then connect them together using the teleport which is uh, the teleport functionality is similar to a hotspot but instead of moving to a different panorama it moves you to a different environment all right and that's something that we talked about in session one so if you missed that go back to session one and rewatch that um, but really really simple but a really cool way of using this particular feature okay so um, that's whitelisting. I hope that that's clear. If you have any questions about it, feel free to ask uh, Andrea. Now, the second one I want to talk about today is 360 videos. Now, we've been talking a lot about 360 imagery. Obviously, anything that you create with iStaging is in 360, full 360, um, and a really immersive experience. And you can obviously add videos that we talked about in session two, also really cool functionalities there. Um, but you can also replace a panoramic image with a 360 video if you have one. And that's actually really, really cool. So, but really simple to use. So let me click on, you're going to go to the panoramas tab, by the way. Click on add 360 video instead of add panorama. So add video. And we can then enter a, a YouTube link that links to a 360 YouTube video. Right now, only YouTube videos uh, are supported. Uh, very soon, that will also be Vimeo, but right now it's just YouTube. So I, oh, I hope that I'm doing it. No, that's incorrect. I'm very sorry. Give me a second. I'll just here. Here is the right. Here is the right link. All right. Just give me a second. Change this. Here we go, here we have the YouTube link. We add the 360 video. And you'll see that the video has shown up here in the list next to all the panoramas that you've got. Now I can change this, this name, and then I can move it. Also, I can move it down a little bit towards the end, for example. Here we go, here we go. Great, and that's basically it. It's as simple as that. Now let's go to view and we'll look at uh, what that actually looks like in the experience. Now I've actually added a 360 video that is related to Vincent Van Gogh, uh, you know, Vincent Van Gogh painting, which is actually really cool. So you'll see here now at the bottom, I'm still at the entrance, but here instead of a, a panorama at the end, we have a 360 video. So if I click on that here, you'll see that a 360 video will load in a second. Hopefully, it might take a, a couple of seconds. <laughs> Sharing my screen, sometimes it takes a bit. Ah, here we go. I'll move to move it forward just a little bit further. Just give it a couple of seconds, guys. So you can actually move uh, from a panorama. You can add a hotspot into a 360 video. And now we're actually going into a painting of Vincent Van Gogh, which is called Starry, uh, Starry Night. And I hope that this displays correctly in the, uh, you know, on your screen, it's not too, uh, too choppy, too shaky. But you can see in 360, I can move around here in this area. And actually this video is pretty cool, by the way. It's not so much about the functionality, but the video is uh, very cool within a painting of Vincent Van Gogh. But you can basically combine, you know, 360 imagery with 360 videos and uh, uh, move between them, which can add, even though your experience, if you don't add 360 videos, is still extremely immersive. Uh, this can add something to it if you have these videos. All you need to do is upload them on YouTube then and uh, add the link. As I said, you can actually add a hotspot into the video, but obviously you will not be able to go you know, from within the video with the hotspot back. So you'll have to use the panorama bar at the bottom. All right. So pretty cool. That is the 360 video. Um, now, both whitelisting and 360 video 
is not required to actually earn your certificate. You can add them. It will give you some bonus. It will get you some bonus points, but it's no, not necessary to, uh, 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 to actually earn your ice staging certificate and badge. Uh, but cool to know because you know you can really level up that experience. All right, then number three, and the last feature that I want to talk about today is an introduction video and an introduction image. So uh, this has been requested or asked uh, a lot, um, and even someone last week asked about this. You know, do you have some sort of uh, uh, you know introduction or guidelines in the beginning when visitors enter? how to navigate or what to do. Now, what we've actually done instead of that, instead of putting some standard information there, is allowing you to upload an introduction video or image. So the first thing that people will see is that, either the video or the image, um, and then they can enter the experience, which is really cool because you can 100% customize that. Obviously, when I'm creating you know, an experience for eye staging, what I wanna say in an introduction video or want to show is completely different from when you're crea creating a medical showroom or you know automotive showroom or a virtual exhibition anything you know in any industry it would be something different right and being able to personalize and customize that is really really important and really really cool now the way to do that is going to the basic information tab so the very first tab uh, uh, on the left and then you scroll down and you'll see introduction video image right here and again, all I need to do is simply click enable, and then you'll have a section to either upload your video on the left or the image or an image, which would just be a static image on the right. Now I've already uploaded the video here and I can customize the button text. So at the bottom of the video, there will be a button that allows people to basically enter the uh, environment, all right, your live tour. And I can customize that, but I'll just put enter for now. And that's all you need to do. Um, in terms of the video, it should be less than 500 MB. For the image, it should be less than 10 MB. Uh, you know, pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, and all then, and this is something I mentioned in session one and two, making sure that you save every single time you make a change, whatever it is. Uh, don't try and build your entire experience and then click save, because if something goes wrong, you have to redo all of that. Now, this is obviously not that big of a deal, but uh, yeah, in the marker editor, definitely make sure that you click save every time. All right, so I've clicked save, and now I can preview by clicking on the view button here at the top. And you'll see that we got an introduction video right here. Before we actually enter the gallery, I have an intro video now, and this could also be an image, which is, you know, a great, way of welcoming anyone into your virtual environment and as i said at the bottom you have the basically the access button and you can customize that with any text that you want so i've clicked on enter now if i click on enter i am back in the actual gallery so really simple but really 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 valuable all right i think much much better than if we would sit put some standard you know, navigation tools, how to go left or right or what to click on. Uh, and obviously, you know, in your experience, if you've you know, followed the sessions, um, for each experience, it, it will look entirely different and the features that are used are different and the, the tags that you use are different. Uh, some things are clickable, some are not. It's completely up to you. So being able to you know, give people that first introduction and engaging them is really, really cool. All right, awesome. Um, that is the introduction video and image. Now, uh, those were the three features that I wanted to talk about today. Pretty straightforward, uh, you know, pretty easy to use. It's literally just uploading a video, turning something on the whitelist, you know, uh, copy pasting a YouTube link for the 360 video, but really valuable and very, very good to know for you guys so that you can actually add it uh, uh, to your experience and, you know, enhance it. Okay, very good. Now, let me go back to, I'll stop sharing. Awesome. Okay, um, now, before we go into the questions, if there are any questions, let's do the quiz. As uh, usual, we have a quick quiz, just a couple of questions for you guys uh, to see if you paid attention. Uh, if you followed today's quiz, it shouldn't be uh, that much of a problem, so. 
here we go, session five, I'll give you a few minutes to finish uh, the, the, the quiz questions. And uh, while you guys are doing that, uh, I will say, I will talk a little bit about the, uh, uh, the ice aging certificate and, uh, and the badge. So I think some of you already asked that question. Um, to submit the deadline to submit your uh, uh, live tour for the certificate is actually tomorrow. All right, so uh, it is short, uh, short time, but we want to make sure that you know, in case that we would like you to change anything or if you've missed something, that you still have some time to fix it uh, and add it, uh, and that we can you know provide everyone with their certificate and badge you know before the holidays start, Christmas and New Year. So it is tomorrow. Uh, use your trial account. In your trial account, you have all of the uh, functionalities. Um, even if this is the first time that you're joining us, you know, you'll re receive your trial account very, very soon. You still, you still have some time uh, to actually uh, uh, make, it, make it happen. So, you know, it's also for us to be able to provide feedback. So please try and keep the deadline for uh, tomorrow or at least uh, this week. Now, when you get your certificate, and I talked about this in previous sessions, there are a couple of things that you get, uh, you know, if you are an ice aging expert. First of all, and that's the main reason we're doing this, is uh, basically you know, turning you into an expert, making sure that you know everything there is to know about the platform, about what is possible uh, with the platform so that you can get all of the ideas of what kind of experience uh, you're looking to build. That was, that's the main uh, purpose. And number two is if you are an ice staging expert, you will get early access to new features as they get launched or even before the launch so that you can try them out. Uh, you know, people that are so familiar with the flat platform are, uh, uh, yeah, they'll, they'll get early access. Number three would be business opportunities. So we have sometimes, you know, people that reach out from all over the world that need help with uh, uh, a local shooting or uh, building showrooms or, you know, any, anything really. And uh, if we would need help with that locally, then, you know, I, the ice staging experts that are familiar with the platform will be the first one that we would ask for help or refer to basically, um, because that's, uh, you know, we would be comfortable referring people because you know exactly how the platform works. And the last one, and probably one of the most attractive ones, is that you get access to special, really, really, really special offers, um, you know, that let's say, uh, yeah, others don't. So that's one of the things that, uh, you know, you should definitely look out for. And one of those, and that brings me to my next point, is coming up in session six. And session six is on Thursday. All right, that's the last session of the course. And we will uh, provide anyone who's uh, working on their certificate or who's, you know, submit uh, their life tour to earn their uh, ice staging certificate and badge, uh, the opportunity to take advantage of an incredibly attractive offer to use all the functionalities on our platform. So definitely, definitely, it's one of the reasons why hopefully you'll be, you know, you're joining us and uh, you'll be able to, you know, enjoy the platform and everything it has to offer for, uh, you know, the foreseeable future. So make sure that you, uh, you're you joining us for session six on Thursday, this Thursday, so only two days to go. It's uh, uh, really quickly that's coming up. You'll receive your uh, uh, the confirmation of your registration uh, probably tomorrow, uh, really, you know, really soon. And in that session, we're going to talk about how do you promote your, your virtual environment, your life tour? What do you do with it? Now that you've we spent five sessions talking about the platform and how to build it, obviously it's important to know what to do with it. What can I eventually get out of it, right? Even if you don't have a huge budget uh, or a lot of money to spend, there are still tons of ways and tons of things that you can do. And we want to uh, talk about the most important things. So that's one. Number two is the offer that I just talked about will be made available on, uh, in session six. And number three is we're going to talk about a basically a bonus feature. Excuse me. A bonus feature that uh, will be made, uh, or yeah, that is recently launched, and we want to talk about. It's not going to be uh, included in the, let's say, the, the certificate, the, re the requirements for the certificate. Um, but uh, it is something really, really cool. Also asked many, many times by different uh, uh, people in different industries, lots of our customers. So definitely come and check that out. Um, okay, great. I think that most of you have finished the quiz, so I'll end the voting for now. Fantastic. Now, let me quickly uh, go through the uh, answers in the, in the questions. 
Uh, under which tab in the VR editor can you add an introduction video or image? That's the basic information tab. That is correct. So the introduction video and the image was the last feature I talked about available in the basic information tab, the first tab on the left in the VR editor. Which types of videos are currently supported in the 360 video feature? It is uh, YouTube only. Technically, that's obviously also on MP4, but you know, you guys know what I mean. It's YouTube uh, uh, links, 360 links at the moment. Very soon, it will be Vimeo as well. So most of you got that right. And what is the benefit of whitelisting? Uh, I think most of you got that right as well. It enables you to give access to pre-selected visitors. And I hope I gave you a, a couple of ideas on how you could potentially use that functionality. Awesome. I'll close the voting and the quiz. And then it's time for some questions, if there are any questions. One thing I forgot to say is the guidelines for um, the, uh, the certificate. They are available via our website. And also, Andrew, I just put a banner up with a button that links to all of the guidelines. So everything that is needed in your live tour, in your virtual experience that you'll build with your trial account to get your certificate. So go through them, make sure that you have something of all of it. Um, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to all match together perfectly. It's just, it's about the functionality so that you know exactly how to use them, what to upload, what kind of files to upload, uh, and, and what each one of the functionalities does. So check that out. All right. Any questions, guys? I'll give uh, Andrea a sec. Michael, is there a minimum number of panels we need to include? No, there is not. Um, well, technically, you need to have a minimum of two panoramas because you will be asked to either add a hotspot or a teleport. Now, um, if you use a teleport, it's basically sending you to a different live tour. So you have you know, your trial account, you have two spots that you can fill and you can then use the teleport. It's essentially the same functionality as a hotspot, uh, but instead of yeah, moving to a different panorama, it's to a different live tour. Um, so either hotspot or live tour, that's it. So that basically means you need a minimum of, of two. I hope that answers your question. But if you want to add, you, you know, 10 or 20, feel free to do so. Any other questions, guys? Is there anything else that I can help with today? That you need uh, an answer to. Uh, we will this week. Hopefully, we'll receive all your applications for the certificate, and then we will. Our team will look at all of them, uh, and if there's anything that needs to be adjusted, our team will. We will reach out, let you know uh, what what is missing or what needs to be changed. We'll have some time to change that, and then hopefully, well, you don't necessarily need to send a new link. The link stays the same. Just let us know when you updated it, and uh, hopefully, we'll be able to provide all of you guys with your certificate and your badge. That would be really, really cool. All right. Um, now, if there are, I don't know if there are any other questions, I'll give you a couple more seconds. If not, then I hope that all of it was clear. I think that the features today, the three features I talked about were, were pretty straightforward, pretty easy to use. Um, and, Andrea is saying, don't, don't miss tomorrow's session. I think that don't miss out. Yeah, uh, she means the session on Thursday, right? So this Thursday in two days. Two days, you'll have the, the final session, session six of the training course. So we're close to the end. Uh, and I, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Anyway, I think that's about it. Guys, if you still have any questions, if you need any help, if you're building your, you, you know, your life tour, your experience um, to get your certificate and, you, and you're running into any trouble, you have any questions with your account uh, or with tags or anything, you know, just uh, reach out to us and our team will make sure that you get an answer as quickly as possible. And hopefully you will receive all your applications uh, tomorrow. Um, thanks again. Have a wonderful uh, well, couple of days and I hope to see you guys for session six on Thursday. Thanks a lot. Um, and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers.